welcome back everybody. It's day 18 of the 100 day project. Today I'm going to show you how I made these sorry I didn't realize my cord was in the way there. Um, how I made these little they're little glassing envelopes um, and then inside it's just a little collaged tag or journal card and you can do some writing on the back. Now you could cover this with um, back it with some tea dyed paper if, if you want it to be completely you know all of it writing space but I like the primitive rustic look of that so um, real quick and easy and then um, well let's just get started <laughs> sorry I'm kinda out of it today okay so I have went ahead and tried to get things done in advance and we'll, I'm going to be doing some sewing and like I said I still don't have my camera view uh, set up to show you guys on that so uh, apologies for that. I know it would be nice if I could take it over there but I just, I just don't have the ability to do so. <coughs> Okay, so I'm using some more of the antique papery papers, and I think I'm actually going to start with this one because uh, this one's, I don't know, I just come up with the idea, and this was a tag I had cut out a while back, and I thought I'd like to try something different and just use the tag as the base and coordinate with some of these, and I think that's going to be the focal point there. So, let me just start by getting some of this lighter. I had done collaging when I first started out, and then I just kind of got away from it, and... Uh, and I'm just kind of getting back into it. It's funny, I think, um, you know, our crafting maybe goes in phases. That's how it feels anyways, because like I said, it's been a while since I've done much of it, and I'm just kind of, I don't know, the last couple of weeks I've really been wanting to get back into it. I think it's because I'm seeing so many people really doing a lot of it now. And it's kind of got me inspired to, to revisit it. Now, I know I want that butterfly as the focal point. Like I said, this this these things I'm doing for some journals I've got planned coming up. So it's really nice to be able to combine this. Um, so I'll have these done, which is always a nice thing. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit too big. Let me just trim some of this. I mean, they can, it can hang off, but I don't know why I, on this particular, because it's going inside the envelope, I, I just don't want it to. Yeah, I like that. Let me just distress the edges a little bit. <clears throat> um, somebody had asked the other day about the distressing that they couldn't see it. They could see it on the white paper. Um, I can assure you it is taking the color, but I don't go for the dark grungy look, so that's probably why you're not really seeing it, you know, from your view. You're just seeing it on that, but it's that's the way I like mine to look. Um, Okay, so I know I want to, I'm not going to glue that yet, and the reason you'll see why, because I, I know I want to do, I really like um, 
Uh, this inspiration, by the way, came from the Somerset, uh, the Paper and Mixed Media magazine. Uh, this was a project, I think, last summer. Let me just, this is just some scrap muslin that I have. I always hang on to my scraps um, because they're perfect for this kind of thing. Um, so I'm just going to take some uh, stays on. For fabric, that's what I use. Um, and make sure when you use <clears throat> a solvent ink that you get the cleaner because um, I did ruin a clear stamp by not cleaning it properly. So do be aware of that, guys. If you're new to stamping, you must have the stays on cleaner. Otherwise, you're going to come back and it will distort those, it's particularly if they're not good quality stamps, the image, you'll come back. And it, it, I don't know what it does to that plastic. It eats away at it. Um, so do be conscious of that. Okay. Now... Thinking in terms of how I want to place those. I'm almost thinking I'll do it reverse. I always tend to go to the right, and I think to balance that, that might look nicer that way. Okay, let me get this down. I'm going to let that sit to the side, and we'll do another one before I jump over to the machine. because I want that glue to dry before I put that through. And what I'll do is, I'm well, I'll, you'll see. You'll see when I, when I get back. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jumping around, jumping around, jumping around. What are we going to... Okay, let's do another one. Because that went super duper quick. Uh, I'll still need to do something for that. Now that... I definitely want that there. I'm wondering. Let's just try this. I wonder if that would be too big. If I were to put, yeah, he's too big. That bird is. I can see. I'm just thinking. I want. I need something on the. This glass scene. Hang on, guys. Uh, what can we do, 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 do? Mm -hmm. I've not done it with a flower before. Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's see how that's going to look. I don't know if that image is going to ink up too great, but we'll give it a shot and see. Yeah, actually, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And just snip that. Okay, guys, I am going to stop it now because I want to get this ink off of those stamps and I'm going to run to the machine and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And that's how, sorry about that cord. Okay. So there you can see. And I'm almost thinking, let's put a little bit of linen thread in that. I've been 
listening to um, music this morning, and I've got uh, I've got a song stuck in my head, and I keep having to catch myself for fear I'm going to start singing out loud. <laughs> and oh my gosh, talk about losing subscribers quick. Um, that would ensure it for sure. But yeah, I um, just recently discovered, that's totally off topic, but you guys know I love music. Um, I've just recently discovered Amy Helms via uh, Matt Anderson. Because I love Matt Anderson. Wow, that man. Wow, what a powerful voice. And he's done a um, duet with her. So I've started checking her out. And oh man, that girl can sing. So that's on the old bucket list now. I want to go to um, to see her. And I'll have to... Just hope that maybe our paths cross at some point. Oh yeah, that it needed that. It really needed that little bit of linen thread. Okay, so what I've discovered when I went to the machine was that, oh, hello, you can't stitch that together. So I've sewn that, and now I'm just going to have to um, glue it, which is an idea, which is now why... You need to do this way because then you can just stitch that too. So keep that in mind. I mean, I, you guys are much smarter than than I am. It takes it takes a little while for things to sink in sometimes with me. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I still like um, the idea of something down here, but I think I'm going to prefer it along that way. There we go. There we go. And the other thing is that old Fabri-Tac. You'll see that stuff coming through, I think. When that dries, it might show slightly. Not enough to be bothered about. But I do think that's a, you know, you just look, keep that in mind. I think you're better off to go with something small that you can stitch there. <gasps> liking that one. Now the bow will get scrunched up when it goes in there, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's just make sure it's all going to fit properly. And then that can just be tucked in a pocket in, in your junk journal. Oh yeah, I like that. So that's, that's one and two that we've done, and I've left the um, the threads hanging on that, so it'll be just a little bit of a... Okay, let's just, let's see, time-wise, we're okay. I think we're okay to do one more. Loving that. That one, let's see what else we want to do. I'll carry on with this sheet since I've torn into it. I, I think I'll use a bit more of this. save these because um, I can carry on making more of these. Okay, I'm just going to get that. Oh, get that on there. My glue's arrived! <laughs> glue, glue, glue! <laughs> And I forgot about it when I was doing that other one. This is It's been so long since I've had the glue sticks. It's going to take me a while to get used to it, but it is so much cheaper than using that Fabri-Tac, and I'm sure it's better for your lungs, because I'm, I'm a little concerned about that Fabri-Tac, the fumes off of that stuff. It's fine in the summer if you've got the windows open, but in the winter time, I do not believe that that's good to um, to be breathing that. And I always keep the lid on mine, but it still puts out powerful fumes. OK, 
Okay, let's do some inking. Uh, let's see, what am I going to make? Okay, happy with that. So, this one, I'm going to put the bird stamped on a, um, bit of that, because I think he will look cute as a little focal point there. to do it in this direction. Oh yeah. It's come out nice. Let's see. What else do I want? Okay, I'll go ahead. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Because I want him to... Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I got a plan. I got a plan. I'm going to take him and stitch him first and then I'm going to stitch this now I'm going to stitch this first and then I'll come back and stitch him on there that way it won't you know show back that you'll see you'll see when I get back <laughs> so I'll be right back guys okay guys that's the finished tag or journal card and then I went ahead and stamped twig for the bird I thought that was that was sweet so there you go guys <clears throat> that's our project let me just put those over onto something so you can see them just a little bit better Hopefully that'll Yeah. I like those. So that's a few more things done that I can put into the little stash. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and um I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.